two legal blows back to back on a single day. Tuesday saw Donald Trump's former campaign manager Paul Manafort convicted of eight counts of tax and bank fraud in Virginia. This as Michael Cohen, Trump's former personal lawyer, pleaded guilty to eight felonies, including campaign finance violations in New York. On the news of the court actions, the U.S. president said he felt badly for both men and called Paul Manafort a good man. It doesn't involve me, but I still feel, uh, you know, it's a very sad thing that happens. This has nothing to do with Russian collusion. This started as Russian collusion. This has absolutely nothing to do. This is a witch hunt and it's a disgrace. The financial crimes Manafort was found guilty of had indeed nothing to do with Russian collusion. But the charges were brought by special counsel Robert Mueller, the man leading the probe into Moscow's alleged election meddling. The other case potentially carries more weight for Donald Trump. Cohen, his former personal lawyer, pleaded guilty to breaking federal election laws at the direction of the candidate. Among the charges, the payment of hush money to two women. He worked to pay money to silence two women who had information that he believed would be detrimental to the 2016 campaign and to the candidate and the campaign. No names were mentioned, but it's clear that the women referred to porn star Stormy Daniels and former playmate Karen McDougall, who both claimed to have had affairs with Donald Trump. And the candidate is presumably the president himself. Along with implicating Trump in campaign finance violations, Cohen's plea deal raises the possibility he will provide other information to Mueller, who handed the case off to New York prosecutors in the first place. The special counsel may seek cooperation from yet another of Trump's former aides, Michael Flynn. Prosecutors and defense lawyers for the former national security adviser have agreed to postpone his sentencing after he pleaded guilty to lying to the FBI about his contacts with a Russian official.